I want to quickly talk to you about a massive business loan from Fundbox. $150,000 maximum approval. Don't go anywhere. Another edition of the Awesome Studio Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you're all doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous. If you're here to ask me, if you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka and let's roll. In today's conversation, I want to speak to you about an enormous business loan from Fundbox. Maximum loan amount $150,000. Before I actually start the uh, actual conversation, please understand that this video is purely instructional and educational. We're not, we have no relationship, no association with Fundbox. We have not been paid to make this video. It's very clear. So we're just doing this because we found this uh, business loan in our research and we thought it, it might make sense to share them, to share the info with you. Let me give you the loan facts here. So first, when we speak about the mass, the a massive business loan from Fundbox, we have two types of loans. So we have a business term loans and business line of credit. The amount up to $150,000 Pretty cool. The APR will oscillate between 4.99% to 19.99%. There are no fees, and the term is kind of is kind of low. You're looking at 12 to 24 weeks, and the time to funding up to 48 hours. And there are no extra conditions. What we love with uh, Fundbox is that it's a very, it's a streamlined process. You can do everything within two to three the two to three minutes sometimes five minutes but once you do that it's straight it's straightforward you get pre-qualified for the amount so there's no hard pull and if you are happy with uh, the loan offers then uh, the lender will actually um, proceed and actually do a hard pull remember that uh, Fundbox is not a loan marketplace they are a direct lender and uh, so the the payment process is simpler with them We'll love also the reporting capabilities that they have. They have a dashboard that is pretty straightforward. It tells you how much you have, uh, how much you, you qualify for, how much you have borrowed, and how much you have left to repay. So this is pretty cool. All of this puts you, the borrower, in a, in a very strong position. And uh, in terms of qualification, they, their requirements are very minimal also compared to other lenders we have reviewed on this show. So they want you to be uh, based in the United States, makes sense. They want you to have a minimum FICO score of uh, 600. They want you to have an uh, annual revenue of a uh, minimum of $100,000. You got to have a business checking account. And uh, ideally, they want you to be in business for at least six months. So this is pretty cool. I, those are not uh, deal breakers if you really think about it. I want to talk to you now about uh, the lender at a glance. Let me give you some kind of information about this lender. And this is a lender that has been around for a while and we love them. And uh, Fundbox, they have been uh, in business for the last 10 years, nearly 10 years. They actually were funded in 2013. So it's been, uh, it's been close to 10 years now. And uh, originally what they were doing, they were actually uh, focusing on uh, invoice uh, financing and uh, line of credit. And lately they have diversified so this is pretty cool so they are open to not only they gave uh, they will lend you they will approve uh, lines of credit business lines of credit but also business loans remember folks we're talking here about a massive loan from Fundbox, one fifty thousand dollars that's the maximum amount okay this is important to have that in mind because everything else will actually uh, revolve around that amount I'm not saying you should necessarily borrow that much, but it's good to know the potential that the potential is there. Okay. What are the pros and cons here? P pros. Borrower qualifications are lower than with banks. The application process is, is very fast and easy. We love the fact that uh, the credit score requirements are very low and you have multiple avenues of customer support through uh, email, chat, or on the phone. And uh, yeah, so it's very, and also through the website. Okay. On the negative side, the drawbacks, rates can sometimes be expensive and the repayments are required frequently. So after evaluating uh, Fundbox on tens of criteria, including the loan variety, the loan amount, generosity, the cost, the reputation, the customer service, we assigned the company a score of 9 over 10. And uh, our, our judgment, our evaluation was confirmed by uh, expert reviews 
and even consumer reviews so for example we're showing you on the screen right now you can see on Trustpilot you have a 2812 reviews as of the, the date of today's show and those reviews have uh, in aggregate they have assigned a score of 4.7 an excellent score based on Trustpilot standards an excellent score of 4.7 over 5 to uh, Funbox. So you can see that our judgment has been corroborated by um, thousands of other judgments out there in terms of the quality, in terms of the the uh, process, the lending process of Funbox. So it's a great company to to borrow from, not only from your business uh, for a, a business term loan perspective, but also for a business line of credit. Let me talk to you now about the eligibility criteria, folks. Again. I'm speaking to you in this show about an enormous business loan from Fundbox. Maximum loan amount, $150,000 here, okay? So the, the amount is consequential. We're not speaking about four digits or three digits here. No, we're speaking about six digits, okay? So what are the, the criteria for eligibility? So as I said earlier, the business must be based in the United States. The business owners must be either U.S. citizens or holders of green cards they must be permanent residents okay FICO score is 600 so if you but if you have a 575 or 550 guess what you can try to find a, a co-borrower a co-founder or someone else so if you are a solopreneur you want to have a business right and then you want to incorporate this for sure and then you want to if your if your spouse has a better credit than you better credit score you can just uh, you know sort of join forces here and have a and co borrow here in terms of annual revenue they want you to have a 100,000 minimum in uh, per year in terms of revenue not net income revenue so that's about nine thousand a little, little bit of nine thousand uh, dollars per month and you got to have business checking account and I'll explain why you need the checking account and they want you to be in business for six months so this is pretty cool so and uh, in addition to that Funbox wants to want you to have a few other things they want you to provide a business credit score. Now, they can actually uh, check it out themselves, but if you are proactive and you provide that, that will accelerate things, so this is fantastic. They will check your business credit score if you have one, if you have one or two or three, because uh, they will check not, not only uh, Dun & Bradstreet, but also Equifax and Experian and uh, other uh, platforms such as um, the SBFE and the NASCM, okay? In terms of... Uh, they want to have an updated business plan this is important if you want to get the maximum loan amount or even anything in between you got to have an, an updated business plan very important and in some cases they might ask for collateral even though the loan itself this loan I'm talking to you about is an uh, unsecured loan okay so no collateral or no personal guarantee at all and uh, in terms of uh, in, in, besides all the, the credit score the annual revenue the the business plan the collateral they might want to get any commercial leases from you copies of those leases business licenses and permits personal and business tax returns business insurance plans payroll records incorporation documents and so on and so forth now let's talk about use of loan proceeds so with one again folks I'm speaking to you about a large amount here a large loan amount from uh, from uh, fund box a large business loan amount from Fundbox. Maximum loan approved, $150,000, okay? And this is a loan that, of course, Fundbox wants to know what you're gonna use the money for. <laughs> that makes sense, right? So you have several ways to justify that. In the past, what, it, what they have been, they have approved entrepreneurs who wanted to use the money for specific purposes. For example, routine expenses other than payroll. Payroll inventory hiring employees or even training them you want to train existing employees marketing or advertising purchasing equipment or vehicles new space or remodeling rainy day fund covering unexpected expenses refinancing business debt and other you can see that uh, the the loan proceeds here were geared toward two types of uh, major categories. When, it, when we speak about expenses, you have two major expense categories. So you have working capital, so everything that revolves around hiring employees, purchasing inventory, marketing, or advertising. This relates to working capital. Why? Because working capital equals short-term assets 
minus short-term liabilities. And when we speak about short-term assets, we have things like what inventory, right? We have things like um, accounts receivables. So those are short; those are part of short-term assets. And short-term liabilities are are debts that you must extinguish within a year. So those expenses, payroll, inventory, hiring employees, marketing, advertising, those things that constitute working capital uh, uses. And then you have what I call the long-term uses. For example, purchasing equipment or vehicle. Those are long-term assets, assets that you expect to use in the company for more than a year, okay? So this is a, I'm just trying to give you an idea. So when you when you fill, fill out the application and Fundbox is asking you, what are you going to use the money for? At least you have an idea of what will work. What what kind of a, what kind of a fund use will uh, pass muster by uh, the by a fund box? Okay, I'll be right back. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome back, folks, to another section of the Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. I'm still very happy because I'm speaking to you today about a humongous, a titanic business loan from Fundbox. Maximum loan amount, $150,000, okay? And it's about time you graduated from uh, the small amounts that you were getting in the past, the small loan amounts. We want to forget about those teeny weeny yellow pocket dot bikini business loans that people get and you can't really explain your business. Now it's about time to actually uh, be a little serious and go for the the big enchilada and basically here there is there is evidence that um, Funbox requires from you to approve the 150k maximum loan amount so the, what is the evidence needed they might want to have information about collateral if the loan is the loan must be collateralized again this loan is is strictly unsecured but in some cases they might actually want to have some collateral from you they might want to have some information, some uh, evidence about your business operating time or your business operational history, how long, you, how long you've been in business, and how do you prove that? You can prove that very easily by showing the lender your articles of incorporation if you are a corporation, an S corp or C corp, your articles of organization if you're an LLC, right? Because those will actually, and also you can show your accounting records because your accounting records will tell the lender when uh, you started operating, when you started making money or when you started spending money on behalf of the business. You also, so speaking of that, so the financial statements and reports. So if you have, a, if you use accounting software such as uh, QuickBooks or Zero or Wave or all the other uh, accounting software tools, all you have to do is just uh, link, you want to integrate uh, your uh, your accounting software to to a fund box or just print the, the documents out and show it show them to uh, the lender okay and when we speak about financial statements and reports we're talking about what we're talking about four major financial statements so balance sheets statement of profit and loss also called the uh, statement of income we have the, st the st uh, statement of cash flows and then we have the statement of uh, stockholders equity you also want to show evidence of uh, profit and revenue Again, as I said earlier, Fundbox wants you to show revenue at least uh, $100,000 per year. And uh, if there is a guarantee. So if your business is uh, a subsidiary of a big organization, Fundbox may need the parent organization to give a guarantee for your subsidiary before it gives the business line of credit to the subsidiary. So it depends upon the situation you're in. And they also pay attention to economic ratios. Things like debt to equity ratio, current ratio, debt service coverage ratio, and fixed charge coverage rate ratio. We have covered this on other shows, so I'm not going to go into t details here. I want to talk to you now about how to apply. How to apply for this massive business loan from uh, Fundbox. We are speaking about a maximum loan amount of $150,000. This is pretty, this is worth it. With Fundbox, you have uh, a bevy of uh, application options. You can apply via email. You can apply on the web, on their website. You can apply over the phone, or you can do mail-in. Sometimes they accept mail-in. They can even accept you to fax not the, the information to them. So I'm gonna show you, there are four snapshots I want to show you. So basically, you have to provide the basic info so you can sign up. So you wanna talk about your business and yourself. And next, you wanna talk about the amount that you're looking for, the amount sought and the use of funds. They want to know what you're using the funds for. Remember what I told you earlier? 
you just have to choose an option that works for you whether you want to use the money for working capital or long-term asset purchasing whether it is a car or equipment then you want to provide a little bit of uh, background about the business and on the fourth snapshot they want to have more information about the business so the rest from the, from here the rest is strictly about accounting software and bank account as i told you fundbox has been very innovative we love this approach because they want you to integrate their your bank account and software with their system that way they can control your transactional history it seems a little invasive invasive but guess what they're giving you up to one hundred fifty thousand dollars to help you expand so all you can do is show a little bit of transparency so th this is the reason why they don't care about your credit history that much they care about now they don't care about the past because if you really think about it a, a credit a credit score is what a credit score as the name implies comes from your credit history 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 past whereas um phone box is focusing on the on the present and the future so they have access to your transitional history to your financial statements so they know exactly what's going on they know if you are if you your balance sheet is lethargic or very active or if your sales are you know very very dynamic and the thing here is that uh they have a list of uh, software that is that are compatible with Funbox. so you have clio ebility fresh books classic fresh books new harvest invoice asap jobber cashew quickbooks desktop quickbooks online sage one zero and zoho so as long as you have one of those uh, software tools you're fine so you just have to link it you have to link the software to uh, funbox and you link your, your business bank account and you're good to go let me give you a, a few additional tips for you a few pro tips for you to actually apply successfully for this massive business loan from Fundbox. Again, folks, we're speaking about, we're not speaking about small amounts here, okay? We're speaking about $150,000, which is a lot, especially if you are a micro business or a small business. This is a lifesaver. This could be a lifesaver. This is, can make, you know, this can make you sort of replenish your inventory for the next six months or, you know, pay, uh, pay some bills, hire more staff, all that kind of stuff. So let me give you a few pro tips. One thing you want to do when you apply with uh, when you apply for a loan with uh, Fundbox is that make sure you gather your business documents. Very important. When I'm speaking about business documents, I'm speaking about your tax returns, your business tax returns. As a matter of fact, you also want to prepare. You want to gather your personal documents also because in some cases, Fundbox might want to see exactly what's going on in your personal life. That's that's if you have not done a good job at separating at segregating your personal affairs from your business affairs. So you want to gather things like uh, business and personal tax returns, business and personal bank statements, business financial statements, and most importantly, business legal documents, the articles of incorporation, the articles of, uh, of organization, the commercial lease, the franchise agreements, if, if applicable. Those are what I call foundational documents. You got to have them ready because the lender Lenders such as Fundbox, they spend time per using those documents. You also want to uh, have a business plan that I explained about this before. You want to uh, elucidate your financial situation, the, your business's financial situation in the business plan, including things like um, forward-looking statements. Those are statements such as projected financial data, where you are given uh, an idea of uh, where you see the company in six months, 12 months, 18 months. You, so, but again, please make sure that you are candid and upfront about your financial condition your business's financial condition do not lie on a business loan application or on any loan application for that matter no because sooner or later you, they're going to find out and you and this is just a bad way to to kick off a business relationship okay and one thing you also want to understand is that if you don't get a loan from a uh, fund box you have options you have options you have we have covered several 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 lenders on this show business lenders and personal lenders on this show and you will get a loan from uh, any uh, another uh, player okay and one thing i also want to say i mean i'll give you an example we have covered uh, recently uh, a lender called m1 and they can grant you up to one i think it's uh yeah one hundred dollar one hundred thousand dollars in business loan so that's pretty good right and you, you also want to make sure that you are demonstrating 
sufficient cash flow so you have enough money coming in to repay the loan from uh, from uh, Fundbox. The good thing here is that because they have access to your bank account and your um, accounting records, they can see what's going on in your um, operationals, operational history. They can see if you're making money or you're losing money. All right, folks, this is it for today's conversation. I was talking to you about Fundbox, a massive business loan from Fundbox, maximum loan amount, $150,000. And I've spoken to you, I've given you some loan facts. I've given you a synopsis of the lender, the eligibility criteria, the use of loan proceeds, the evidence needed, right? We have spoken also about how to apply for this, uh, for this loan. And uh, I've given you a few pro tips. Thank you so much for your approval. For your approval. <laughs> Thank you so much for your attention. And uh, I really appreciate it. I will see you next time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous. <laughs>